Right. For this example, we're going to look at um, using the distance formula to help us verify that triangle ABC is a right triangle. So if you look at this, we are given the coordinates of our um, vertices of our triangle. A is at negative 310, B is at 47, C is at 10. We are going to use the distance formula to find the length of each side. Um, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to verify that triangle ABC is a right triangle, and then after that we will find the area of the triangle. So let's first start by finding each of the sides. So we would find the distance from A to B, A to, um, A to C, and B to C. So let's start with AB first. You can either use the distance formula, the worked out example, where you look at x2 minus x1 and you show out the work. So I would have 4 minus negative 3 squared plus y2 is 7 minus 10 squared. So if we simplify this, we have negative 7 squared, which is positive 49. And we have negative 3 squared, which is positive 9. So we end up with AB equaling the square root of 58. Okay, so we have our first side. For the second one, I'm going to use this alternate formula where you just ask yourself, what are my change in my x values without showing out the work? It makes it shorter. And the change in y formulas, those are deltas to represent change. So for the second side, we would use bc. And for this one, we would ask ourselves from four to one, how many places did I move? So I moved three places. I did go backwards, so it is a negative but when I square it, it becomes positive, so it doesn't matter. Um, for the next part, we would look at seven to zero. We moved seven places. And if we square that, we end up with the same thing that we just ended with, 49 plus nine, which is the square root of 58. Okay. For the last side, For the last side, we would use A to C or C to A, it doesn't matter which one you use. So we would look at from negative 3 to 1, I moved 4 places. From 10 to 0, I moved 10 places. So I end up with a total of 116. So after finding the distances, you would make sure that all of these are simplified. Um, this is an exact answer. An approximate answer would be plugging it into your calculator. 58 cannot be simplified. 116 um, For right now, we're just going to leave it like this. To verify that this is a right triangle, we would see if a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem where my two smaller sides are a and b, so that would be the square root of 58 and the square root of 58, and my c squared would be the hypotenuse or the larger side. So to plug in a squared, we would take the square root of 58 plus the square root of 58 squared gives us the square root of 116 squared. If I square a square root, I end up with what's inside. So we end up with 58 plus 58, which does give us 116. So triangle ABC is a right triangle. Okay. 
The second thing that this question asked us was to find the area. And if you remember to find the area, area of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. In a right triangle, your base and height have to be your two legs. So to find the area, we would do one half my base, which would be these two sides over here, the square root of 58 and the square root of 58, times the square root of 58. So we end up with one half of 58, which gives us 29 square units.